Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very short one yet informative. So please try to watch this video till the end. Stop learning from interview questions. This is our topic for today and let me explain why. The traditional approach that is three years before during the pandemic or before that the way of preparing for the interviews has always been preparing from the interview questions. Let's say someone was giving a DevOps interview four years before either they would have prepared interview questions topic by topic that is top 20 interview questions on Jenkins top 20 interview questions on AWS top 20 interview questions on Kubernetes or they would have searched for top 100 interview questions on DevOps. Honestly, this used to work. Before pandemic, during the pandemic, this used to work where people would focus on the interview questions, prepare those interview questions and get selected. But in 2024, this does not work. If you are still relying on this traditional approach, stop it right away. Preparing only the questions, what is EC2, what is VPC, what is DevOps, this does not work. But interviewers at this point of time focus on scenario based questions. Practical learning and practical interviews. What does that mean? Instead of asking what is VPC, interviewers would now ask you how do you configure a VPC? What problems you have faced while configuring a VPC and some scenarios on the VPC. So if you are preparing what is VPC and go and attend an interview, you will definitely fail that interview because that is not at all expected in the interviews these days. So coming to the most important thing is how do you prepare for the interviews in 2024? That is how do you answer scenario based questions? Two simple things. Just follow these two things and you will most likely clear the scenario based interview questions. First one is strong fundamentals. Now, whenever you are going to learn a topic, focus right from the fundamentals. If you want to become a cloud engineer and if you want to learn about EKS, do not directly jump into EKS. First, start from understanding what is a container, why container orchestration is required, what is Kubernetes, how Kubernetes address the concept of container orchestration, and then what is EKS? You know, what is the difference between a Kubernetes cluster that you host and what is EKS? What advantages you get from AWS EKS? If you prepare this way, you will cover the fundamentals. That is first part of preparing for the interview questions. Now the second part is even more important. That is practical learning. So you have covered the fundamentals. You understood what is container, container orchestration, Kubernetes, how Kubernetes is different from EKS. Then practical learning. That is create a Kubernetes cluster by your own. Create resources on the Kubernetes cluster. Deploy some resources on the Kubernetes cluster. Then spin up a EKS cluster. Understand the difference. What is difference between creating a Kubernetes cluster by yourself and creating a Kubernetes cluster by EKS? Of course, I have taken a basic example of Kubernetes, but anything that you pick up, even if you pick up CI-CD, let's say, just understanding the definition of CI-CD is gone. Now, nobody is going to ask you what is CI CD. Rather, people would ask you, how did you implement CI CD in your organization? What are the different stages of CI CD in your organization? What are the challenges that you have faced while creating a CI CD pipeline? How did you overcome these challenges? Without strong fundamentals and without practical understanding, you cannot clear interviews in 2024. If you have cleared, then you are lucky. 
and if you are going to clear also you are lucky but these are the two things that you need to follow and by following these two things you can definitely answer scenario based questions while watching a video you might not understand the challenges of creating a kubernetes cluster but if you do it by yourself you will run into a lot of challenges for example there are a lot of projects on youtube if you search for devops projects you will get thousands of devops projects which in a way you are lucky if you are preparing for the interviews because there are beginner level projects there are intermediate projects there are advanced projects thousands of projects on youtube at this point of time you can pick up those projects watch the tutorials how the youtubers are explaining them or written on medium written on hash node after watching those videos you need to go back stop watching that video anymore try to do it by yourself you will run into tens of issues fixing each and every issue that is your practical understanding and that is what you explain the interviewer as well whatever the issue that you have faced that issue you are going to face even if you are working in the organization so you can explain it as a scenario that i was setting up xyz and while doing that i ran into an issue this is how i resolved the issue and your interviewer is most likely going to be convinced so going back two things fundamentals practical learning of course you need a road map as well anything that you are preparing in 2024 without a road map please don't do it if you want to become a devops engineer understand the road map to become a devops engineer if you want to become a cloud engineer understand the road map if you want to become a full stack engineer prepare a road map for yourself take road map from xyz sources and follow that road map because road maps usually cover fundamentals practical learning interview questions and everything now finally abhishek should i completely ignore those interview questions i would say just before the interviews you can keep them handy having that top 20 interview questions 50 interview questions would only help just 2 hours before your interview or you know maybe half day before your interview you can quickly have a glance of those things and maybe you can feel little more confident before you attend the interview but nothing more than that so this is the video for today if you have been following that traditional approach and waiting for the interviews failing in the interviews it's time you switch to this approach start learning the practical way start preparing in public start learning in public and get the interview calls of course you can clear the interview calls with this approach as well thank you so much for watching today's video if you have any questions on this topic definitely put that in the comment section i am going to answer your question if it is valid i am going to pick up each and every comment and answer that see you all in the next video take care bye bye